March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and the death of a former college football star this week is a stark reminder of the toll the disease is taking on younger Americans. Here's ABC's Andrea Fujii. This morning, friends, family, and fans are remembering Craig Rowe. A former star linebacker for the University of Michigan losing his battle with colon cancer. Michigan has forever been defined by uh, guys stepping up every year. He was just 33. Rowe was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer last year. His death, part of a troubling trend. Colon cancer is now the deadliest cancer for men under age 50 and the second deadliest cancer for women under 50. Doctors say obesity and lifestyle can play a role. What we're concerned about clearly are food or environmental exposures that may be there, but it's hard to know. What we do know is this, that for people under the age of 50 diagnosed with colon cancer, about a third of them have some remarkable family history that might have given us a clue as to that having occurred. That's why doctors say it's so important to get screened, beginning at age 45. But Americans are not getting the message. 80% of people ages 45 to 50 are not getting screened, many of them dreading a colonoscopy. There are options to do it in your own home uh, within just a few minutes and with just as much accuracy as a colonoscopy. Those with a family history of cancer or who experience symptoms should talk to their doctor about getting screened earlier. Symptoms include a change in bowel habits, rectal bleeding, abdominal discomfort, fatigue, and unexplained weight loss. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.